Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In today's video, we will talk about dividing fraction and mixed numbers. So, at the last part ng ating series with regards to operations on fractions, kasi nung last year, nag-create ako ng mga videos, kaso gamit yung iPad ko. And this time, nag-revamp ako ng aking videos using my whiteboard para mas makita nyo yung step-by-step -step process and you can interact with me while discussing this video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here two sets of examples. Yung first example natin is that we have number one, fraction to be divided by another fraction. Number two, mixed number is to be divided by a mixed number. Kasi what if yung ano natin, yung mismo given, given, frac, given natin is a fraction and a mixed number. So ang target ko dito, bakit hindi ko sinama yun, is that you will think of a way para gawin yun sa sarili nyo. Okay? Kasi yung konsepto ng pag-divide ng fraction by a mixed number, okay, ng mixed number by a fraction, ay makikita nyo dito as long as ma-master nyo yung mismong process natin. So let's start doing number 1. We have 7 over 10 divided by 14 over 15. So meron lang tinatawag ditong keep, change, and flip. Again, keep, change, and flip. Okay, ito yung process natin. And I will explain, paano ko ba ginagamit yung keep, change, and flip in dividing fractions. First, using the word keep, ang ibig sabihin niyan is you need to keep or copy your first fraction. So that is 7 over 10. Wala kang babaguhin kasi sabi keep. And then for the change, change is for the operation. Ang division kasi natin of fraction, it will go through multiplying fractions. So we will change the operation from division to multiplication. Right after that, keep, change, and flip. Yung flip natin is for the second fraction in which yung ibig sabihin ng flip natin is to get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Again, reciprocal. Wherein, pag sinabi ng reciprocal, ang mangyayari, yung pwesta ng denominator mo ay mapupunta sa taas, yung numerator mo naman ay mapupunta sa denominator. So when we get the reciprocal of 14 over 5, it will give you 5 over 14. So you have now multiplying two fractions. Again, so back ganon, from dividing to multiplying, that is the rule. From dividing, magiging multiplying. And we can apply our multiplying method. Multiply your numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. But in this case, always observe the numbers. As you can see, 10 and 5 are both divisible by 5. Yung 7 and 14 natin are both divisible by 7. So, pwede natin cancel out to kasi pero silang, ano, meron silang greatest common factor na 5. So, meron tayong 2 or 10 divided by 5, that is 2. We can also cancel out 5 and it will become 1 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. And as for 7 and 14, 7 divided by, one, 7, divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So as you can see, we have these numbers. 1 times 1 is 1 over 2 times 2. That will give you 4. So the answer for the first example is 1, 4. So bakit po kayo gumagamit ang ganito? Um, para hindi tayong consuming, guys, pinapalit natin yung number instead of multiplying 7 times 5 compared to 1 times 1. And... 10 times 14. Though madali lang siya kasi 10 times 14 is 140, mas madali if mas maliit yung numbers na yung multiply mo. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2 guys, ito ay combination of a mixed number and a mixed number. Same process, pero kapag mixed number to a mixed number, again, mixed number to a mixed number, um, hindi pa muna natin i-apply yung keep, change, and flip. What we need to do is to convert first your mixed number to an improper fraction. So, turo ko sa videos natin, multiply, and then add. 
2 times 1, again 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 1, that will give you 3. And then copy your denominator, 2. Tapos copy mo na natin to divide. Again, wala mo na tayo, kung di mo na natin ito i-apply, wala mo na to. So as for 3 and 1 8, ang gabi natin is to convert this into an improper fraction. Again, multiply your denominator to your mixed number. 3 times 8 is 24. And then yung product nila is add mo yung 1. 24 plus 1, that will give you 25 over 8. Check natin na. 25 over 8. Okay. Okay? Ngayon, so paano po yan? So kung mapansin nyo, naging improper fraction na siya, we can, now, we can now use keep, change, and flip. For in, copy the first fraction, 3 over 2, for the keep and for the change, palitan yung, yung division into multiplication. And as for the second fraction, flip, get the reciprocal, in which this is 8 over 25. We're in, pwede na kayo multiply pero meron tayong pwede simplify. As you can see, yung 2 natin sa ka-8 ay parehas meron, meron sa nanggating ito common factor na 2. We can cancel out this 1 as 1. Ito naman ay magiging 4. So mas mababang number, 3 times 4, that will give you 12. And as for 1 times 25, that is 25. So sa huling part, Kailangan nyo isipin, ay meron pa bang pwedeng simplify? So, I think this is the final answer. 12 over 25. So, as you can see, fraction to fraction, mixed number to mixed number, and all you need to do is to figure out how to multiply, uh, how to divide a fraction to mixed number and a mixed number to a fraction. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung video natin on how to divide fractions and mixed number. Kung meron kang requested topic, na gusto mong i-discuss natin, feel free to comment down below para makita ko ano yung gusto mong topic. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!